hey guys it's me so in this video I'm gonna show you and share some basic tips on how to run in Eden as a beginner it may seem really scary the first time even the first few times but as you go along weekly you'll get used to it and further on you'll know what to do So opening the gate here There you go If you're that nervous you may go with a friend that has already gone to Eden and knows better If you're a braver soul you can go alone and explore. Have fun at the same time. In this area, you gotta be careful not to fall or get hit by the rocks because you might lose wings. So here you have to wait for the rocks to pass over and then walk. If you're confident enough, you can run and jump and then wait here again and then walk. This part is a bit safer but still windy. Can just walk along. Careful with the steps here. And then look at the flag. If it slows down, then you can jump. There. It's easier to jump when the wind has died down so you don't have to fall over. And you gotta be careful with your steps here. Because it's, yeah, you might fall over like how I did. Clumsy spirits, be careful. So now we're gonna open the main gate towards Eden. You may get some energy here as well. The first cutscene. So I'm gonna show you a scenario here. The first scenario. Some pathways that you can do. This scenario is great if you're small or a chibi. So I walk here at the left side. And then be careful with the red rock. You don't want to go near it. So after the f first round of rocks, I jump towards and stay here. Actually, this one is good for chibi, not for taller kids. From here, you can jump to that bigger pillar. It's safe here, whatever the size. The next part, you can jump and stay here so you wouldn't have to hurry that much and then jump run fast as fast as you can and you can stay here next comes the tunnel and that's it for the first scenario
here's the second scenario this is for those who are a bit faster and a bit more confident in running after these rocks you have to run and jump towards the first pillar and you can stay here as well in case you don't make it and then run ahead and run as fast as you can don't ever pause and stay here and then comes the tunnel so that's the second scenario that you can do so that you have choices on where to go to safely be in the tunnel then we have our first scenario on the stairs section so right here you may use your recharge potion in case you still have it and if you need energy or flight power So when that first blue light passes, you can start running for the stairs. The stairs is quite tricky, many fall down, just takes practice. So here, I needed to fly and flap and then walk to this part. This one area is safe. So in case uh, you're having a hard time walking up the stairs, you can hide here when the krill comes. So after his blue light passes, you may slowly go out and then walk your way through or jump. Here, I usually take a pause and wait for the other krill to pass wait for his blue light so you won't fall over and get seen and so that you won't have to hurry that much so here I start to walk you can try to jump but you might fall over from here though you can start jumping to hurry your pace and light this torch and charge yourself then you can jump ahead and move forward here there's a chance that you might get seen by the krill you can hide here pretty scary sound But that's how it is with in Eden. There you can jump ahead, careful not to fall. And here's the second scenario that you can do. There's a specific section that you can step on in order not to fall on that mini bridge. So you have to step here on the mini stairs, there, and then jump here. So there's a lesser chance that you might fall over and get caught in the mini bridge. Before, there were a lot of times that I've fallen there and got seen and got hit. So you can chill here afterwards. And then move forward avoid his legs as much as possible and then move again so there's the other krill passing so you can move forward you don't have to hurry that much and then jump ahead From here you may also fly towards the next um, section there, just careful not to 
fly too far and then continue on careful with the rocks the red rocks and the flying rocks so these sections that have torches are safe places that you can hide from when there's the surge then jump ahead someone's got seen here it's quite hard because you cannot use the home button in Eden oof you may help them but I advise to just stay in your safe place and then just do a long call so that they know where they can go for safety. They're trying to catch the wings. So here she is. You must light them as well for them to get enough light she's safe now so next comes you stay here after the stairs if you have the torch you can use it to regain some flight energy So you must wait for the krill to go to the right side. Don't run when he's on the left. So now he's on the right. After the rocks, you run as fast as you can. Sometimes the wind is just too strong. So I got hit here. So I went to stay in this section. And then continued to run. You might get seen but just don't stop. there so it's good now you're safe so that's it i hope this helps you guys bye